What is the digestive system? The digestive system is a group of organs that converts complex food into simpler nutrients. The alimentary canal starts with the mouth, followed by the pharynx, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine, and ends with the anus. The small intestine includes the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum, while the large intestine includes the cecum, the appendix, the colon, and the rectum. The digestive glands, on the other hand, comprise the salivary glands, the liver, and the pancreas. So how does the digestive system work? It is amazing to note that the sight, smell, or taste of food enables the salivary glands to secrete saliva in the mouth and the stomach walls to secrete gastric juice. Once we put food inside the mouth, the teeth crush it into smaller particles. This process is called mastication. At the same time, the tongue mixes the food with saliva and softens it. Saliva contains a digestive enzyme called tylin. which breaks down the starch present in the food into disaccharides. Then, the masticated food called bolus is swallowed down the pharynx. During the movement of bolus, a flap-like structure called the epiglottis prevents the food from entering the windpipe. The bolus swiftly moves through a narrow, tubular, muscular organ called the esophagus. The muscular wall of the esophagus contract and expand rhythmically in a process called peristalsis to push the food forward. At the end of the esophagus, a muscular ring called the esophageal sphincter allows the food to enter the stomach and then closes. Inside the stomach, the food in the form of bolus bathes in the already secreted gastric juices, which comprise mucus, hydrochloric acid, and enzymes such as pepsinogen, renin, and lipase. The mucus coats and protects the inner lining of the stomach from the acidic action of hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid kills the germs that may have entered the stomach along with the food. It also provides an acidic medium to activate the enzyme pepsinogen to pepsin. Pepsin breaks down proteins into peptones and proteoses while renin breaks down milk protein and casein into paracasein and proteoses. Likewise, lipase acts on fats and partially digests the food. Along with the enzymatic action, the muscular walls of the stomach churn and mix the bolus thoroughly with gastric juices to transform it into a thick pulp called chyme. Then, the pyloric sphincter of the stomach opens and transfers the chyme to the first part of the small intestine called the duodenum. The acidic chyme in the duodenum stimulates the secretion of hormones 
which in turn activates the liver and the pancreas to secrete bile and pancreatic juices respectively. These juices make the chyme alkaline. The secreted bile contains bile salts which break down the fats into smaller globules. This process is called emulsification. Pancreatic juices contain enzymes such as disaccharides, trypsin, and lipase. Disaccharides help in the further breakdown of disaccharides into glucose. Trypsin breaks down peptones and proteoses into amino acids. And lipase breaks down smaller globules of fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Moving further from the duodenum, the chyme reaches the jejunum in the small intestine, where the intestinal enzymes complete the digestion of proteins into amino acids, carbohydrates into glucose, and fats into fatty acids and glycerol. Eventually, the chyme enters the last part of the small intestine, that is the ileum, and gets digested completely. It is now called chyle. Here, the inner walls of the small intestine are lined with numerous finger-like projections called villi. Villi increase the surface area of the small intestine and absorb nutrients. Subsequently, the absorbed nutrients are then transported across the richly supplied blood vessels within villi to all the cells in the body. The leftover, unabsorbed and undigested food and water then moves into the first part of the large intestine called the cecum. At one end of the cecum, lies a finger-like pouch called the appendix whose function is unknown to humans. The cecum is followed by the colon where villi lining the inner walls absorb the water if any from the solid waste. This solid waste is collected and stored in the lower part of the large intestine called the rectum. Once the waste gets accumulated, the anal sphincter opens to excrete it through the anus. 